Yes, that's a good point, honestly. Yeah, there's lack of awareness, honestly. That's why uh, we who are aware. If I may add, we've had uh, Mr. Museveni many a times has come out and said, oh, people in such and such an area, you voted for, for, for the opposition, that's why we don't do such and such for you. When they collect taxes, they don't say, we're only collecting taxes from 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 uh, NRM supporters. They collect taxes from the opposition as well. But people now feel guilty that because they didn't vote for the government, they don't deserve services. The government doesn't um, uh, choose who pays and who doesn't pay. Opposition people pay taxes just as well as non-opposition people. So people need to know this and they need to be empowered to be able to speak up for themselves because we're very, very few to speak up for everybody. Whereas once people have the information they need, they can speak up for themselves. Okay, thank you, Sarah, for that submission. Yes, uh, yeah, seems now activists. I think we know now we are where we are. Uh, if in Kenya they were moving on a flat surface, for us we are moving on, a, we are climbing a mountain, basically. Yeah, uh, seems all systems have been destroyed for someone to overstay in power. So now it's our obligation to see how we operate within those challenges. How can we break? How can we break them? So if we move to up to downtown protest and then people are just uh, standing up, cheering, not joining, basically. So we shouldn't ask ourselves at this time why they're not joining. Uh, it's been a long term destruction, basically. Yes. Uh, so we need to find a way of dealing with the media to bring them on board. Remember, some are compromised, and I guess that some who who will be willing to work with us and have been working with us some genuinely. Yes. Uh, we need to see how we can tap into the university, universities, general and colleges, because there's a lot of manpower there. Yeah, most countries have been liberated by students from the universities. The agencies basically, they have a lot of energy that's so emotional. Yeah, when they decide to do something, they will do it. The challenge that we are leaderless, that's the challenge we are facing, but uh, uh, based on your advice in the future, maybe you advise the way forward. Yeah, because we have all the answers, but how to push those answers is the challenge. Yes, we are going back to the colonial time, basically. Collect taxes, but you don't see the results, you know. Collect taxes, we don't see the results, honestly. Yeah. We are back, 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 back in the old days. That's how unfortunate we are, you know. And the regime may even prefer uh, foreigners, you know, to live better. Because I've seen foreigners who have come here and have lived better. Like the rich have come up, the refugee funds have set up businesses, have been successful, we are buying from them. You know, we are disfranchising the citizens of this country to better it, you know. What will happen when the citizens set up their businesses? You know? So guys, ask for the mic. Ask for the mic and say something. Yeah, we need to hear your idea. Apparently we're on Gulu sitting. Say no to Gulu sitting. Yeah, how can we make it successful? Yeah, remember our brothers have suffered in poverty for quite a long time, almost like 40 years, honestly. Yeah, suffered in poverty, you know, water, women there suffer. Remember women there, they're breadwinners. You know, they move so many miles to go and fetch water. They move so many miles to look for firewood, so many miles, you know, to look for food. And remember, they have to cook food, they have to give their husband money, to go and drink. So basically, our MPs are just going there to, I don't know, to splash money at the expense of the poor people. So let's, let's hear your ideas on what strategies can we take to make that uh, agenda successful. Yes, and then also, what idea can we, what can we do to carry out uh, civic education on the ground because what we are facing the challenge we are facing is awareness so many people are not aware yeah even the, those you see in the cities are not aware yeah how can we follow them on tiktok how can you take the theater to the tiktok and drama because people now this is an era of entertainment yes we need to tap into that field we need to tap into sports yes remember ask on the mic if you want to say something the you know, Kuacho Unku in Yondo Kumutu, Obon Siva, Obon Tuariba, so the Mizinge. Why? But one Pagida Kunjagala, Rokasi Kuagila, or what to cause it 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 to 
I just wanted to bring you some American perspective because if we don't tell you what we are seeing here, sometimes you might think nsija muri moyo yankomerero. Beno malese okutambula kulaba okudda kunyumya. I have children in Uganda and I have two girls in the US. But the girls in the US have uh, have challenged me. It's not a challenge. Of course in America people fear them to have children but I have I have my two girls here. But if you have lived in Uganda like I normally tell you that for me Uganda has helped me to live everywhere. That's why I can even go to fish because I, I learned fishing in Uganda. Now this has been holiday the summer has just ended the holiday has ended. But the school the school health program has been feeding my girls and I don't say that she has been feeding my girls she has been feeding me. And yes, somebody just named me. Waka every Friday of Kolete Temere. Then we will. But how do people manage this? Because Kolete Temere of feeding Havana is not rocket science. No one knows how Uganda are still starved. In fact, I remember telling people you're in heaven and you're crying. That's why some for me even can't ask for rice in your country because it's like Natuka. I tell them because where do you get somebody feeding your children when they are not in school? That is a school, and this country is run by women. They are opposing. <laughs> they are opposing. The governor Bagamba, I am not going to stop feeding children in the homes. I know what it means. I'm a parent. That's what the governor talks about. That is the president of a country telling you, I'm not going to stop feeding children. Then the other thing which I keep telling you people, that one no, but is the country setting standards. IT, driver's license, and English. Look at a country where those are the things that you require to live. And you require IT, you require English, and a driver's license. Once you have those three, you start life here. IT, again, I can only reach into Chawano 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 where I got a CCC online. We use online. To Jack Gendan, Jagger Genda Wagundi, Nagira, ask, go online. That's why they have Google Maps. Oh, no, Yomurimu, Omurimu, go on, it's the good thing of you go online and you get a job. Then, of course, I a motor car, a donkey to somebody, one yagara again that aren't in Sitrako or Tamura, you use somebody's car. That is what is here. Then the next thing, like I've told you, that a small country with 947 cities. A chitagaza and away ginger, a wooden away ganga, away ganga, wooden away toro, away to Rawdan away pussia, where was an awooden away mbari, or mbari and awooden away sorti. It's just the same. And if you have landed in the Moy where I am, then you go to Davenport, it's the same. Then you go to the next place, it's the same. Then when it comes to hospitals, they are the same. Ate, Boba Libi, now I'm talking about an agricultural country where they call it the, 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 farming, the farming state of the USA. An agricultural country, the Valina minerals, the Valina, never the ma. Omwemba, every janjaro, so you have been in Then you come to farm, to animals. I think we are the leading producer of pork. We are the leading producer of milk, dairy products, animal feed. This small country trades with about 200 countries of the world. Farming, Kurima. No one for Uganda, whose economy depends on agriculture. How develop it agriculture? So, Okutambla Kuraba, Okutambla Kunyumia. Sometimes I feel like in Katia want to come to America, and I can't come to our Jemazim Yakamuenda. Bienda Bambi Rabiaco. And it's just governance, Sichara. It's just governance, 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 governance. Now, when it comes to citizens, if you try to go on, that's why I keep on emphasizing to government lawyers, to government medics, we're all saying the role of a citizen, where it's a citizen's call to make sure that the country is restored to functionality such that it is possible in Uganda because Uganda is a pearl of Africa. The pearl of Africa, because we have the biggest water body, the largest river, I think, the longest river, or the second longest river in the world. And above all, the Nile Patch is the sweetest fish in the world. It's the most valuable fish in the world. That's why I showed you a map. I sent the sinking ship. We have valuables on that ship. But if we don't protect, if we don't fight the sailors or the sailing, we are sinking with our valuables. You're talking about James who comes from Busia, whose grandfather's land is now occupied by the Chinese. I come from Busia. With the gold worth 12 trillion US dollars, and I'm a pauper. I call myself a pauper in America. I don't speak like somebody who has gold. You are talking about the gems who has Nile patch. But what about Nile patch? You know, that's why I'm fishing, because we learned fishing. Fishing is a way of life for some years. That's why I fish in the US. I learned fishing as a skill, a childhood skill. But you go to Busia right now, they, even they have sniffer dogs to find and tell who ate fish in this home? Where did you get it? Look at that. And if I talk about the border, the border, if we talk about social, corporate social responsibility, if all revenue of Uganda is flowing through Malaba and Busia, then you, Busia and Toro we are ranked third. Because the poorest district is Karamoja, then the next is Busoga, and then Busia struck Toro together. And Fabala We don't even have into Mutuweko this passing here. Can I talk about cement? Every road in Uganda is Toro cement. 
every house in Uganda is toro cement, perhaps maybe with some of it from him. But you want to know the place where there's there Sisira? Sisira is this funny houses, this funny houses where it is grass, mud, and water. Far from Sisira, not as a prestige, but as a way of life. Talk about iron sheets, iron ore is from Tororo. Far from Sisira. I sometimes tell my people Busi and Tororo that it just we sleep in a grass thatched house because we have grass thatched mud and water brains. What else can you explain? Why do we sleep in grass thatched mud and water houses if not our grass thatched mud and water brains? Uganda is a rich country. Just this week, over last week, I saw that there are prospect prospectors of oil around the whole Choga region, including Soroti, Kumi, Wawa, those all those areas now they have discovered oil. But is discovery of oil just about discovery? How can a country smaller as Iowa have 947 cities? Do you know what it means to have 947 cities? And that's why I'm like, no. But somebody just denatured our brains. It's very difficult to defend education overseas. It's very difficult to say you went to school overseas. It's very difficult to defend it. I think somebody said, <laughs> somebody who went with me on the Kenyan space, if you chose to be a slave, you should not even talk. That's what somebody <laughs> sent us. That's the message. Yeah, that's a painful message. It's an insult. If you chose to be slaves, you should not even be given an opportunity to be to speak. That's what the Kenyans wrote about, about us yesterday. So we're basically slaves by choice. Gaja Gaja. I, I wanted to, an explanation of Gaja Gaja. Where is Gaja Gaja? That thing makes me laugh. <laughs> but what does it mean? It looks like, sounds like, <laughs> sounds like an obscene word. Gaja Gaja. Not obscene. It sounds like a sexual word. Gaja Gaja, I think anything. Just wait here. Just wait. Where is Gaja Gaja? So, as Ugandans, I am in America and I'm, I find myself 300 years. I call it being 300 years behind these people. 300 years behind these people. The road network alone. Now we're talking about garbage. For here, garbage collection is a job. By 2 a.m., trucks are moving, picking garbage from every house. Because they have containers outside. The container system, which we learned, it's called a tipper system. We learned in public health. I was told that thing in Mlago by somebody called Agondwa Henry from School of Hygiene. I can't even remember the teacher. 1992. Agondwa Henry. He taught us, taught us about garbage and sanitation and whatever. He's from School of Hygiene, Mali. The tipper system. How to dispose bodies in the hospital. Have you ever seen a morgue? Give us a morgue in Tororo. If you ever died in Tororo and they put you in, in, in the morgue in Tororo, the rats can finish you in, in one hour. We have rodents that eat people. You go to pick your body and the teeth are exposed. The eyes are gone because rodents have eaten the body. And yet we studied how to dispose. The last office is, is something. Anybody who is, who is a nurse, who is, it's called the last office. How to prepare somebody for burial. I saw somebody leave Tororo Hospital in a motorcycle, seated in a sack. The other day, somebody, I think, was Sarah was asking, do you, are you, do you have emotions? Do you drive you to do something? When I saw somebody leave the morgue of the road on a motorbike, seated, broken like Casoli, one person holding behind the other person riding a motorcycle, I started a fundraiser to get a, a morgue van. I got 500,000 from a woman called Mugisha, Beatrice Mugisha, and I opened up an account with the, the other money that I put in, which was 300 for myself. So only had, I think that account has now stayed for the nine years I've been here. With 800,000 shillings, it never continued. And I'm like, but what people are we? People who sit and watch. The educated. Not the, not, 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 not the other ones. The educated. The educated feel happy to go and sit with the uneducated and pause and sit and nimusao. You walk in and you're seeing people under trees. Yet you did Davidson. Davidson's Prince was on medicine. A standard book that is taught across the world. Hutchinson's clinical methods. A standard book that is taught across the world. The clear. I don't even want to say KCCA. It is the health workers. Why is Kasasiro killing people? We did water and sanitation. Why are people taking water which is not purified? Don't say Ugandans have not gone to school. We have been to school as many years and I started school in 1971. Some of you are not born, I guess. I told you last parade in 1978 when we had that Katogo prayer where they said, you're going to pray to pass exams. I think that things go wrong. <laughs> I remember being taken to pray for P7 exams, to, to pass P7 exams. No, it's not prayer. And then we say we pray for leaders. We pray for no, you elect leaders. So this process that we have begun is a life changer. That's why me, I'm having a hundred percent faith in it. It's a life changer. I am happy to be here. I'm happy to join this group because it's something I have done. If it's Google, my name, it just comes up because James has been writing, James has been talking. 
Oli musa uchikachi abuka manhole toto chikube chifana nyi. I never jumped a manhole. Oli musa uchikachi alaba latri de jude noto jitu noto chikube chifana nyi. I never. Oli musa uchikachi neba jaka masanyalaze mudwari ro. I have an article I'm going to pull down and show you when they switched off water from the hospital. I made sure that they dismissed the manager of national water. That person became my friend eventually. Said you don't switch off water from the hospital. And the people kept quiet and I got up and said no this is not. The hospital is not a place because there's blood. Women are delivering, defecating and what have you. You don't switch off water from the hospital. I marched towards national water and they fired that guy. Such are citizens we want to see. And they call it the role of citizens in shaping public administration. It's you, the citizen, to hold everyone accountable. And that's why I don't want you to say lawyers. No, you, the citizen. But you can see they call it Burundi Wansi. When you see tones, remove them. Don't leave the next person to come and step on them. But that's what we ask, Ugandans. That somebody sees tones and he leaves them as a trap for the last the next person that he can laugh. Me, I can I can speak. I do public speaking. I mentor. And I keep summarizing and telling them that no, no Ugandan policeman will kick me. If they, they, they will kick me, I speak from here, but they will come back to, to Uganda, they will visit Uganda, and somebody kicks me, and somebody picks me to Luzira, I will prolong my life to stay in medicine to kill that person. I'm saying that because we have docked so much. I saw medicine being turned into poison in Luzira. I saw it. Which means we can use medicine to kill. You kick me, I'll kick you back. You kick me, I'll mark you. You're on this wall as a spy, just know James says this. If I ever be kicked and I see your face, I will continue practicing medicine. What more do you want to hear from me? <laughs> wow, James, James, James. James, James. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, two things I took from James. Um, one, uh, personal responsibility. Always saying, oh, let's wait for these. The cases here, we are, no government, but I mean, it also starts with us. I mean, we people, and that's the thing that is making us stay where we are. People feel like this cause if it's not run by the other person then i cannot come out or i cannot do this um okay before i proceed sarah it's, uh, your hand was up i'll say something yes um, i don't know if you're going to be able to hear me can you hear me yes i can hear you okay um, so um james has inspired me to share one or two things and one of them uh was during the, the lockdown the COVID lockdowns about the food and um, school kids getting food um schools uh, initially closed for like a few weeks but um uh, the leaders, different leaders to the and insisted that schools open at least a couple of days a week. And one of the reasons behind this was for the children. Some children, they believe some children are not well fed at home, nourishment. So it's a, yeah, because they were not going to be able to go to every home. But at least if this child came to school two or three times a week, they were at least assured of a warm meal. And uh, I found this so heartwarming, you know, knowing that despite everything that was going on, despite um, uh, the strict measures and everything, despite the fact that they could learn from from, from their, uh, the comfort of their homes with the internet and everything, and of course, once they realized that children were at a lower risk of catching COVID, this was one of the next campaigns. Schools to reopen so that, uh, one, they get to the children, some of these children, they only get a warm meal at school, so at least they are sure of a warm meal. And secondly, um, of course, every family is different. We find that some families, um, uh, there's high rates of um, violence. So at least if a child is able to go to school, they, they get that sort of, uh, that, that, that takes away from a violent home. And uh, we know that when people stayed at home during that time, uh, there was increase in domestic violence and the rest of it. So you can see that at every level, everyone is well taken care of, everyone is well thought of, everyone is, is at least get something from their government, not just giving. You know? And um, again, talking about the, 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 the garbage, um, our collection of garbage. Um, I, I just give just for, for the benefit of um, us seeing where we need to go, how the systems need to work. I spoke to someone yesterday the other day about Chitesi, for example. If systems work, well, first and foremost, right now, all the councillors in that area should have been in Lucida right away because they have failed to people of Chitesi. And immediately, I looked at the system here, how, how the system works. You'll find that, so for example, uh, they're called, uh, here they're called boroughs, so London has different boroughs, um, like in, in, in Uganda and Kampala we have divisions, but in London we have boroughs. So these boroughs, um, every borough has um, its um, um, leaders, it has its um, MPs, it has, it, not MPs, it has its um, constituencies that are different, but boroughs have councillors. These councillors, their job is every month to report back to their, to their individual, to the to the constitution, constituency MP, and every month the, um, the mayor of London has a meeting with these people. So it is upon him then to make sure that they attend to anything that has come to the table. And it is from that that he will go like, okay, they can't get from the regional budget or they can't get from the divisional budget. Now, when you go to the divisional budget, we're talking about garbage, for example. Every division has a responsibility of collecting their own garbage. So when you're taxed, 
um, is what they call cancer task. So cancer task it takes care of that division of garbage collection, um, schools, um, anything that is within that division. In a way, what you collect goes back to develop that division. What you what you contribute comes back to collect that to contribute to that division. At the end of the year, they look at how much money was collected in this division, how much was used, what was it used towards, whether it's repairing, mini repairing of roads, whether it's uh, um, the, the uh, doctor's surgery, the doctor's surgery, the heart clinics, like such things are taken care of that. However, for example, when you tax at the end of the month, pay a lot of salary, no matter what you know, salary, that's for this percentage. And of course, that is um, there's a, a threshold. You see, if somebody earns less than, say, for example, a thousand pounds, that doctor, which other doctors can say, that's a sort of a sort of cost, uh, blah, 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 cost of living, and the rest of it. So above that, then that's when you make a contribution. So you find you, that person pays a certain contribution. The other day, it was two, can I say, two thousand. Then contribution, yeah, yeah, you get a hope, or the person who are contributing, national health, are contributing at all these things. Later, at the end of the day, you can't do it. Now, you can't do it. 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 You call these people to order, to call to demand for these things because we know we, we wouldn't pay to us to these things. They, they, they take our taxes. So I have to remember that they don't they, they, they can't get the complaint by judgment and MP or judgment and Chum Awan to Kabalua. And I'm pretty sure you pretty you know that it's one of one people want to say about whether it's an email or what you want to say about I know put them. I know put them. MP I know put them. Now yes, Rashid should take it away. Rashid should take it away. So there is that responsibility to be family to set it up for the citizens. I have said this and we And again, they know that our family what they, 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 they expect, what they should expect back from, from their government. So um, it's a, a two-way thing. It's, it's, two, it's two-way responsibility. Too much as the money is going to be the money is going to This is what I desire. If I don't get this, I'm just going to complain. So um, I, I sometimes I sit down and think and look at the contrast between the Gajabs who are going to be hundreds of years behind. Contrast, no, 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 no. This is what has me every day. It's doable. It's just that system may be cheap. System may be broken. It's not about the data. It's about the data. They're not aware. They're not aware. You know, you know, Uh, thank you, Sarah, for that. Well, we have uh, things and uh, issues Sarah and uh, James raised, and the simple basic needs and, and things that are being done in the different countries where they are. And they feel that these are things that can easily be implemented back home here. I mean, you just get to realize uh, like every, everyone here is agreeing that, yeah, the system is rotten. But I think I come from a school of thought that says maybe at some point we are going to have to force people to, to, to really either rise up or be forced to come to the occasion. Because... There are things that happen and you really wonder why our people are just sleeping. I don't know whether it's, it's, it's a problem in the... In the We're not hearing you. Can you hear me, members? Yeah, we can hear you. Hey, Martin, I think you're having problems with the network. Uh, let's have Ronald. Ronald, you wanted to say something. Please, can you... Your mic and say something. Like, and the cutters were like in, in 200 and plus. And then I get to see. I asked the lady, why don't you take this kid to school? And she confidently said, I just felt so bad. Yes, please. No, I'm not going How about now? I think there's something. Uh, maybe drop the mic and then you'll come later. Uh, as we're waiting for Mujimatin to say something, we can have Ronald. Ronald, please say something. Uh, guys, I want to. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, when I was in Uganda, I'm from Uganda and how people live their lives. Uh, Chikabia, it's, it, it's very absurd. Sometimes I'm even forced to think like Dr. Kizaresi that 
like we are stupid in Uganda, like we, we, we might be stupid. Or yesterday I was in town, but when you go in a town, everywhere, you, like you see garbage in front of people's shops, but when people, they are not even bothered, they're just jumping the garbage and go either to buy items or even to open their shops comfortably, comfortably. And they are not bothered. Nobody's worried about this kind of garbage in front of the shop, but just they are looking and they are meaning their own business. It's like this garbage in front of them. It's, I mean, it's, it looks like it's none of their business, you know? It is only in Uganda where you find someone horribly beating a kid, but when another person is holding a, a mobile phone, recording a video, and he, he or she cannot intervene. It is only in Uganda. He cannot call even the police. He cannot tell the, uh, the, the perpetrator that please stop, but he's just holding a camera, enjoying what is going on. It is only in Uganda where you find someone has got an accident, but instead of being saved, people are pulling out their phones just to record video. It is only here. So with this kind of society, sometimes I, I, I am forced to think that we are stupid. That's why I'm saying he's, he's taking us 40 years. And after 40 years, then probably his son will come and also take us 50 or more. And we are just looking. We are just looking. You find people, for example, people go out there, they say, okay, we are marching against parliament over what corruption. But people, instead of joining them, the same people who are complaining about the corruption, they have now recording just with their cameras. They are just recording people who are marching against corruption instead of joining that group. And you look like, uh, one time I, when I went for March Against Parliament, I asked my colleague, I was like, but you, girl, which kind of society are we living? Like, look, we are marching against corruption, but everybody is on his or her own business. It's like those who are fighting against corruption, it's like they're in another world. And those who are victims of corruption, it's like they're in another world. So literally, it's like, it's like people in Rwanda looking what's happening in Uganda, and they are just a pity that Bambi, it's as if they are not concerned anyhow. So. For sure, when one day Dr. Kizaris said we are stupid, indeed, maybe we might, because in Uganda, people, they know the problem, they see it and they complain about it, but whoever comes to fight or remove that problem, they are not willing to join him. Here, people, they are going in hospital and there is no medicine. People, they are dying in hospitals because there is no doctors and nurses. But when you come out and say we are fighting against this parliament because it's going to consume 20 billions that would have been injected in a hospital, such so that ladies, all women, they can deliver safely. I mean, people, they are not willing to join you. They will clearly tell you that you are playing politics. You know? They will just tell you, I am not a politician. That's why I don't join you guys. But he who says he's not a politician, I feel you understand? I mean, I am wondering, which kind of society are we living? Kwanga in Uganda, it's like, either, we might be fools, almost seven might be very wise. For 40 years, for 40 years we are here suffering. Our grandparents suffered, we are suffering, and our children are also suffering. It's most likely even our grandchildren are likely to suffer, but when a group of people comes out to fight this regime, I mean, people, they are not bothered. They are thinking that maybe people from America, they will come one day uh, and maybe move this government, then they will give them a, a new kind of setup. This government needs to be changed. When you invite him to get involved, they will tell you, I am not a politician. I mean, Chagulan has spoken everything. I mean, people, they are complaining, literally on everything. It's a mess when you go in a town. It's a mess. But people, they are comfortably. No sango wa yola ya nunye mpoza. Okay, my God. Kwe gamba, mguo mtu. And he's not even arguing that why am I supposed to give you this money for what? Service, are you going to render me? No. His argument could only be that I don't have the money today, but I'll give tomorrow. He cannot even ask why I'm giving you my money, but why? Where are the services? This is why I'm seven is only bothered by two things. Those who are, want to remove him in his seat, in his seat, nature is always thinking. That's why he's always thinking about the next election. The day he swears in, the next day he will start the campaign. You will see, you will see his ministers, those like Mustaneros and the other thieves, they will say, Now we are in Thanksgiving. Thanking God over what? 
for killing our nation. I, I, I think you believe with me, those who have traveled around the country, those who have got a chance to get out of Uganda and stay there for sometimes two years, three years, or even one year, you clearly know that changing a country, it doesn't take so many years. It doesn't take so many years. But here we have a fellow who always comes on TV and says, you know, in 1986, you know, in 18, I mean, in 1986, in 1971, he continuously blaming Idi Amin and Obote for a mess of our country. But you have been here for 40 years, for God's sake, 40 years, and you're still blaming the old regimes. And there are a group of people who think, you know, uh, leading a government is not easy. You hear such nonsense. 40 years, but someone still believes that things which have not been done, it's not because leading a government is not easy. You know? You hear them, the heroes shouting, Mzai Tavaku Mein, August. Somebody who cannot even educate his child. Someone who cannot even afford to offer a, 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 decent, a decent health service to his children. He's busy shouting Mzai Tavaku Mein. These are the fellows, I, sometimes I feel like all oh, Uganda needs to be shut down. And maybe if it was possible, God to create another group of people and, and put them in Uganda. Because Ugandans are totally, I don't want to call them fools, but they are something else. Something else. I saw recently on Inchitez, Etakalizi Sabant, Kasasitazi Sabant. Somebody who was supposed to prevent that. Tajana Kaunga. And people who have lost their children, they are seated in tent, they have lost their houses. Instead of asking this lady questions, they are happy that he has brought portion beans. Nobody is bothered to ask something. They are happy that he has come for their rescue. Can you imagine? Somebody has neglected you, you have literally lost everything, including your family members. And he finds you in a tent with the portion beans. And you say thank you. Which kind of society is this? Which kind of society is this? I saw another group of people, they are blaming, saying that why he is not involved in, a, in regional parliaments. I saw MPs from Northern Uganda. They are blaming him. But look at the education system in Northern Uganda. For God's sake, what is there? What is there? People suffering with water in Northern Uganda. There is drought. People are dying because of hunger. And here someone comes and says, we're going to sit here for six hours, we're going to spend five billion. And someone else is telling you guys this is wrong, you would have benefited in another way, and you're blaming such person. Which kind of brains are we having in our country? It's serious. I, I want to stop here. I want to stop here, but we need, uh, I think maybe we need to be paid for, or we need God to take us and maybe replace us with other people. You see, some people even think that they learn, they understand, they know, they are going to school. And they say after I'm seven, the next will be more. Hey, thank you, Ronald. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you, so much, guys. thank you, Ronald, for your submission. Yeah, Dr. Uh, Dr. Abis usually said you, says we are stupid. I get stupid. No, he's just reminding us to check ourselves. Are we stupid or not? Yeah, but now the regime has been in power for 40 years. It's not by mistake. There are some measures they take to manage to stay in power for 40 years. So now it's our responsibility to break that chain. Now we need to find strategies of how to break that chain, how to sensitize the public, how to carry out their awareness. It's not an easy task, honestly, but uh, it's quite expensive, but we need to. It's very important because uh, it's intentional. We are, Ugandans are not fools, but we have been made to to go that way. We have another speaker, Christo, Christo asked for a mic. Please, you can say then, we, can, we shall have joy. Yes. Christo asked for the speaker, please. Maybe Christo is still busy, we can have joy. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, comrade. Uh, yeah. uh, good afternoon, good evening, uh, good morning from wherever you are you're listening in from. Thank you uh, for your resilience, ladies and gentlemen. Um, like James said, I have a lot of optimism, I have a lot of hope in this movement, and uh, we should not relent. Um, I think what's happening in the country is, <laughs> is sad, and every day when you think we've hit rock bottom, you know, something worse happens. So what is happening in Kampala, um, as far as refuse, or rubbish is concerned, is absolutely unacceptable. And I think it just goes back to the fundamental, to the basic fact that, you know, um, you and I must reclaim that power to act. First of all, in your capacity as a citizen, but also um, as, as a resident of, of Kampala, I think 
the time has come now, really. We cannot, the situation uh, that is obtaining in the country is unsustainable and we must put a stop to it. So I think, you know, uh, uh, a shopkeeper, you know, to just jump over the rubbish and buy a drink or buy off, jump over the rubbish and, and continue life, uh, you know, um, as if to, as if as if as if everything was normal. I think is 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 um is wrong, and we need to call things to order. So I think we must let's now agitate. First of all, who is responsible for the um for uh, the waste management? Who is responsible for the uh, waste uh, disposal? I think let's start from there. Do we occupy the offices? Do we prevent them from coming to the offices? That is something that we can do. Secondly. If nothing changes, if they do not respond to that, I think let's just shut down and go back home because what is likely to happen is, I mean, there's going to be a disease. Uh, uh, I mean, <laughs> the, the, you know, it, it is just it is just not right. Uh, besides the risks of diseases uh, break, breaking out, I think uh, it is just unhealthy and I think we should not accept. So as a human being, we have to, I think, accept a minimum level of, uh, you know, a minimum standard of, of, of living. And in terms of how much rubbish do I allow to, you know, to, um, to be disposed around my place of work or my place of residence? You know, um, I think what it has reached now, it is unsustainable. And I think we should now just call for shutting down the so-called Kampala city. It's not even a city. I was just looking at a small country called Cape Vard. I don't know how many of you know about Cape Vard, but Cape Vard is a, a little island uh, in the uh, north, north, northwestern uh, um, part of, of, of Africa. It is a, an old colony. It is a, a colony of, of Portugal. So this small country has a population of about 500,000 people. But if you look at the infrastructure, I was just trying to get the picture to, uh, you know, to, um, to load it up here so that we see and we compare. I mean, you, you know, it, is just, it would just be a dream city compared to what we have in Kampala. Um, with us, this little country got independence in 1975, but today their GDP, their gross domestic product per capita is $3,300. Now that is something that we cannot even dream about. Now I'm talking about a little, a little country. Uh, whose population is even uh, at Kampala, I'm told, during day or night, whatever, uh, the population is around 2 million. So the population is is, is just a quarter of, of, of what we have in Kampala. Uh, or Kampala is four times the size of this little country. But if you look at their development index, you know, they're far ahead of Uganda. So why do we accept to have a regime that has been in power for 40 years and cannot manage waste in, 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 in the so-called city, which is not even a city anyway, it is just a big ghetto. So I really think, you know, we must, I mean, a country that cannot even manage its west, a regime that cannot manage its west in, 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 in the cities, I think loses legitimacy. So I think we cannot, we cannot, we must withdraw our support from such a regime because it has failed uh, to, to, to protect, uh, to protect uh, its citizens. So I think where we've reached, ladies and gentlemen, this is critical. And I really think it calls for defiance. And I think let's first start with the authority or the agents that manages West in Kampala. What are they doing? If they're not doing, I think we go for them. If that fails, I think we shut down the city and go back home. Until And, and, and this could be a very good trigger, really, for uh, removing this regime. We, we don't have to wait for very, very big things. Uh, the problem is our threshold, you know, has just, it just goes, uh, go, goes higher and higher. And next time, are we going to, are we going to jump over bodies that have been dumped in, in the Kampala streets? And then life goes on. After what happened in Kitesi, still nothing has happened. Uh, we just move on. So, I mean, how the question is, what, 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 uh, what tragedy must befall Uganda before people can really say enough is enough? I think, I think we, you know, we, uh, we have this tendency to accept whatever happens, however bad it is. You know, I really think that th this is a defining moment. And, and I think um, right now, because we have this discussion, I really think uh, we need to address this and, and, and really use this garbage, garbage syndrome as, as, uh, as, as a starting point, as a point of departure to really address our problems. Because what more, what more, I mean, what more should we, should, we, should, we, should we accept before people can say enough is enough? I think the, the Kitesi uh, catastrophe is bad enough, but now the Kitesi has, has come on our doorsteps and we're still accepting that. So I really think we need to reclaim our, our, our spaces. We need to reclaim our power and say enough is enough. Um, yes. I yield my comrade. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Joy, for your submission. You say time is now to reclaim our spaces, and we need to go for the authorities responsible for the garbage. If we don't work, then we shut down the city. Anyway, it's not a city; it's a ghetto city. All right. Thank you for your submission. Yes, thank you, James, for your submission. And Sarah, you said you tumble up, but you never have a police. These people who, who effect policies in Uganda don't they move? When but 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 why are we still living in the ghettos? Let me see. Okay. So we had Crystal. Crystal, uh, you can ask for the mic. I think he dropped. Ask for the mic again. Guys, if you have something, uh, as we're waiting for Crystal, I think James, you can continue. You can say something. No, I just want to. Is there, my, is there vibration? Is that, do I have echo? Yeah, we hear you. We hear you loud and clear, James. Thank well, you. I just wanted to connect up with what uh, Joe has said. 
And now this is where the call for lawyers comes in. People have been mentioning lawyers, lawyers, lawyers. Yes, I didn't want lawyers mentioned first when we are saying call for citizenry. That is a duty for all of us. Now we are talking about people who have died in Kasasiro. Now that's where we need lawyers. We need people held responsible. I will tell you an incident that happened in the hospital where I work. A patient, a foreigner, somebody walked in the hospital and entered the hospital and went to the neonatal clinic. A neonatal clinic is a clinic where kids who have been born are kept. Somebody walked in and took milk, brought in milk. Can you imagine the hospital almost closed because of that? The patient sued the hospital. The patient sued the hospital. This milk is not mine. How come this person walked in? And the patient sued the hospital. And do you know what the hospital did? Changed all our hospital badges. You can imagine changing badges of over a thousand staff and changed all the lock system of the hospital. This is one incident. A child who is not even a weak, but caused what you call a catacalism in a hospital. And all badges were changed. None of us can now enter the hospital minus hitting a badge on, on, on a sensor. None of us can enter. The doors will not open until your badge has, has, has been hit on a sensor. That's how serious people are. Now we are talking about dead people. <laughs> we are talking about dead people and the precedence is not set. Here is where I want lawyers. Anyone who has died is not compensating with five million. It's about preventing a future occurrence. And the future occurrence can only be prevented if mechanisms, not of compensation, not of five million, mechanism of holding people accountable. Is it KCCA? Is it government? And it's both. When you hear that somebody brought beans in a tent, yes, it's pathetic. The man who has buried you in the rubbish is the very man you said to serve government at Yambi. No, there must be an arm that must help different from government. So somebody must be held accountable. I can hear people saying, Simani, Simani, Kisachi must, she's called Kisachi or somebody must resign. No, first of all, she must be taken to court. Garbage, 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 garbage is an industry because it involves environment. It involves recycling plastics. It is invo involves, here they even buy bottles. All of us, if I told you how some of us make money, you, you drink your beer and keep your bottles and take, go back to sell the bottles. You drink a soda and you keep a can. You work with your cans to go and take the recycling. You just don't, and that's a way of encouraging people. Because if you have drunk uh, a plastic bottle, if you threw it anyhow, but they buy them back. You take it to recycling. You take it somewhere. To, uh, it'll be taken for recycling. You see people walking around picking those bottles for sale, which is also happening in Uganda, the Nikasasura, but do you recycle? Do you recycle them? So we are talking about issues that involve lives of citizens as these goons go to Gulu. Those greedy guys are going to Gulu over, they're jumping over dead bodies to go to Gulu. But now here, that's when we did lawyers. The one, the first call was citizen's duty. When you come to protest, you're protesting as, as a citizen. You're not protesting as a lawyer. You're protesting as a citizen. You're not protesting as a doctor. But now when it comes to issues that have come out of the protest, when it comes to issues of death like we are seeing, then we need lawyers. Those two are different. And that's why we're having a problem. The elites feel Guru Gal cannot lead. The elites feel MP cannot lead. That's why they keep holding the other spaces. And yet it's this space that is saying, much. It's this space that is saying, because the elites just come and I have not had, I have attended all those spaces. None of them is saying much. I have been writing several posting that Uganda solutions are street solutions. There are street solutions. It's not elections. It's going to be a street solution. The citizens must rise up. It should be an insurrection. And it's only you people. It's only this small group. And that's why our problem is lying. The elite think good girls should not lead them. The politicians think they should not lose power. And that's why they have come up with all the messages to mess up this small thing. This small effort. That's why tanks roll on the roads. This small effort can change minds. And it should not be a one day. It's a revolt. That's why I was saying, where are the thousand doctors? Where are the thousand doctors? It's not about internship. It's about creating more hospitals. I'm speaking from a country that has over 50 hospitals that carry out surgery. It's a small country with a population of 3.1 million people. Where would they have 50 hospitals that can carry out surgery? So where do you want to be posted when the hospital is not working? Where do you want to do internship when the ginger hospital is not working? Where do you want to do internship when you're younger? When, when you're shaka? Internship is only possible because you want to go and work in a hospital. You want to go and practice on patients in a hospital. You don't want to go and practice on the patient where there's no medicine. What have you gone to practice other than picking free money? You don't want to go and practice under trees like I left. And that's why I'm like, no, the patients are not a problem. It's you who has gone to school. You read a book to go and work under a tree? You read a book to go and sleep in a house without power? I'm on record. I said I'm not a dog. I'll never sleep in a kennel. I said it. I'm on record. I'll never sleep in a kennel. You taught me that there's water. You taught me that there's lighting. 
you told me about latina latina accommodation why do you badge me up to go in, in, in a community and can i tell you something <laughs> i used to challenge my kids but you're lucky you're sleeping in the house while you're defecating in the house you're sleeping in the house that has a fridge never never bring me a woman never never bring me a man who has no fridge because i'll come to your house ask for cold water i used to tell them and they would laugh but such are standards that we learn in school you have learned about water and sanitation and you are posted somewhere and you stay there that you are district director of health services and you're comfortable in your house without power those third world houses i know them in senior quarters of toro i saw them with the bats dropping their droppings on you and you have come out of school fresh taught for me i am mad with the people who go to school we are told we are taught everything i'm speaking here is not an american thing i was taught sanitation and water in uganda i told you the person who taught me in 1992 i gone to henry from bali school of hygiene i was taught about garbage and how to even to dispose dead bodies then you go to a mortuary and you find rats eating people and there's a man who's who's fat as a medical superintendent and like but you man and they say you're not supposed to speak ah me i spoke me i speak and even the us they know me the us they know me they i speak here I, I keep telling them that we can't be a third world country when we have come here we have come here to a first world country but what i see here i'm seeing a third world do you know why you cry after birth it's right if you don't cry with struggles we shall struggle to make sure you cry that will first cry you let out is speak how does kasasiro kill people are we talking about miracles are we talking about something that is true and then we're going to gulu that's why i left that country Thank you, James, for your submission. You said Uganda solution is split solution. Uh, in the third. Hey guys, uh, you can share the space. Share the space. Please ask for the mic. So something. Yes, yeah. Sometimes we may not discuss um strategies, but we also need to empower ourselves with messages. Let's see. Yeah, because when we're empowered with a message, is what we're gonna pass out. What are we gonna pass out with if we're not empowered with a message? Yeah, hey, somebody who sent me a flyer. I haven't received the flyer. I haven't. It's not in my inbox. Okay, Moji Martin, I think we'll send it. Okay, thank you. Yeah, so, guys, guys, ask for the mic. Ask for the mic and say something. We need to hear your idea. Yes, this is the time for lawyers to sue the people responsible. Okay, John, can go on. Thank, you. thank you, comrades. Uh, I was just speaking about this uh, small country called Cape Verde. I've put out uh, uh, a, a post uh, showing the, the capital is called Prior. Um, and it's a very popular uh, tourist destination. This is a, a country that got independence in 1975. It has a small population of about half a million, much smaller, uh, four times smaller than the Kampala population. But just look, just look at their, their, their city, you know, and this is just one of the many cities. So even what we call cities, you know, they've, they've called Mbali a city, Gulu a city, I don't know what parameters they've really used uh, to name those, uh, those places cities. But you can see, I mean, just the contrast, the fact that we cannot manage, uh, we cannot manage our waste. I mean, how bad can it be? And why should we live with that? Honestly, I think the time has come for us to withdraw. I was, oh, that was a comrade. I hear a if you could. I think that is, um, yeah, yeah. I think time has come for us to withdraw our support for this regime because it has lost any level, any sense of legitimacy. It cannot look after its citizens. It cannot, um, it cannot manage waste, which is really, really basic. And by the way, as James pointed out, waste is uh, is a is a multi-million uh, industry. It can be used for uh, for powering electricity. It can be used uh, for creating manure or, or fertilizers. So it is a it's a multi-million industry. But in Uganda, it has become a source of death. And now, really, we should not really, honestly, we should not accept this. I mean, this is a regime that has been around for thirty-eight years, counting. And what do they have to show for that? Nothing. And I always comp I always I always um. I have this classic uh, example, you know, where I compare Uganda to South Korea at the time of independence. Uganda was ahead of South Korea in terms of GDP. Uh, Uganda was ahead of Singapore. Uh, you know, today we are three, four hundred, four hundred years behind these countries. We cannot even compare. In 1975, Uganda gave aid to the uh, to Dubai, which was just a little fishing village. Uh, you can still find, look in the archives, the pictures are there. We gave them aid. Today, we're three, four hundred years behind these countries. Uh, look, compared to China, China has, in the past 30 years, been able to lift 800 million uh, people or citizens out of poverty. What can we show for the 30 years that the NRM regime has been in power, ladies and gentlemen? We have, I mean, landfills collapsing on people and killing people, and still no one can take responsibility. We now have rubbish on our doorsteps in the so-called city, which is, by many parameters, would have been counted as a city. And, and we continue to and, and we continue to accept this. No, I think there comes a time when enough is enough. And I think that time is now. We should really, really not go on. This is this is a perfect trigger for causing a revolution. And I think 
if the so, uh, if the, the agencies responsible for waste management cannot take action, this is the time to go and occupy the offices and drive them out, and not just that, but go on. I think to really um, flush all these all these dead wood, flush them out of the system. They are actually what I call political dinosaurs. They absolutely have, they are not fit for purpose. They cannot add value to you know to um, they cannot add value to our country. They've hit a dead end, and I think the time is now for this one to go. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. As it's raining now, many, many roads, you know, bri bridge, actually, we can't even talk about bridges because they will never end bridges. But many of these roads are impassable. Even in the so-called city itself, you know, when it rains, you see people are almost drowning. So, uh, and yet they've been getting money, you know, to, uh, to address these issues. Um, so, ladies and gentlemen, I think the time has come and, and that time is now. Let's not pretend that, you know, uh, that there will be any changes. They, we cannot, we, we do not expect any changes. I think the time is now. And I think let's energize this movement. Let's continue to mobilize. Um, yeah, and reclaim our, our, our reclaim our power, reclaim our, our space, political spaces, because these people, are, yeah, they've just shown us they do not care. Now, when they should be addressing these problems, they are running away to Gulu, running away to Mbali to do what that they cannot do in Kampala. And I think they know that everybody, and I think the risk consensus across the country that you know it is a wrong decision to take, uh, to take you know the region to, to take parliament to the regional, uh, re to the regions because they don't really. They're not adding value to any um, to any of the decisions that they make. So what is it? I mean, the leaders were sent to Kampala to make decisions. I think it is more about really articulating issues, about um, identifying resources and and using and dividing those resources equitably. Not about these people, um, you know, creating opportunities to earn more per diems, uh, to earn businesses, to earn money for their businesses. Those who own hotels, I think that is what they're really thinking about. Uh, under the pretext of taking, you know, services to the people. So is that going to take away the nodding diseases? Is that going to take away the land grabbing in the north? Is that going to address the poor infrastructure, the poor schools? It is not, far from it. So ladies and gentlemen, I think the time is now and we need to say no to all this nonsense. Comrade, I yield the mic. Thank you. Thank you, John. Yes, you say that one time we extended the help to Dubai. Unfortunately, now Ugandan citizens are going to Dubai to work as maids. Why are those people in Dubai not coming here to work as maids? NRM has stayed in power for 40 years. Really? Is this... Is, it, is this what we? Is this what they're paying us? Honestly, is it what they call? They've worked. They've, they've, they've done well. So, guys, okay, ask for the mic. Ask for the mic and say something. Yes, we're empowering ourselves with information. Thank you. I can hear you speak as you're speaking from the bottom of your heart. You know, with pain, passion, you know, for your country. Yes. Thank you so much. Yes. Uh, so, guys, ask for the mic. Crystal, you have, you have asked for the mic. She, she dropped. Yeah. Ask for the mic. Yes, we have so many challenges going on. People don't know 16 women die every day in Uganda giving birth. You know, fifty seven fila in twenty 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 two. I think there there was a report. Fifty seven percent of women die. I mean, drop out of school. You know, in, in, the, in the class of P seven. You know, so let's have Mimi. Mimi, Mimi can take up the mic. And say something. Mimi, Mimi, can you hear me? His name is still sorting out himself. Let's, uh, let's continue. Yes. Uh, Tanzania finished the already bridge. Your voice is too low. Really? My voice is too low? You can go on. We can hear you. No, no for now, but that's in a submission. I think that's in a submission. I'm fully that's the only one I am going to get. I thought I have a lot of people because I've left the space. I'm going to get you. And I'm just listening. Feedback. Guys, uh, is my voice low? Maybe my voice low. Yeah. Oh, thank you, thank you for that feedback. Sorry. Yeah. Nino, you're not Sorry, Mike. It's better. Oh, okay. Thank you. Guys, ask for the mic. Uh, sorry if my if my volume has been down. I wasn't aware. Yeah. Ask for the mic and say something. Hey. So we're in the struggle, we're in the struggle. We need to remind ourselves. We are activists which this country where the country has gone to the dogs. Yes. And Arema stayed in power for 40 years. We are asking for accountability. It's not an offense to ask for accountability. We are citizens. We are asking for accountability. Okay. Yeah. So guys, ask for the mic. Yeah. Look at the road networks. Remember that road in Masaka. Eh? The road got washed away. It took them so many days really to get a solution. And up to now, I, th I think it's still dilapidated. Yeah. The Uganda night. Did it take a The response in no, 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 no. Response, no, 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 no,
and this opposition, like like protesting now over opposition, like you know all the responses so quick. Uganda violence, yeah, North Korea gun, yeah, nine nine, but I'm like, pick up, pick up, we find a carrier, we buy whatever they come in, they buy it, we order, we buy some seconds, I mean, they're adding injury on injury. Honestly, forty years in power, the response, the response, team get winner, case of an accident. Nine nine, yeah, we order actually, we buy some seconds. Na yali badita tagenda kufa. Nye njiwa kusonsi kawa nsiyo. Ato wa kutuse mula kwa kusula hao. Kwa kusula hao. Kwa kusula hao. Kwa kusula hao. To respond basically. Nga mbomu. Tiyaba ya gala chia atala evi. Na manyanti ni mpijikaye. Ni chimala chimala. Things are terrible. The time is now to wake up. Honestly. But still it's our owners. To sensitize the masses. To keep on sensitizing the masses. It's not a one day thing. You have to keep on keep on keep on keep on. Until one day they'll wake up. They'll understand and wake up. Ibeta ganyo network. Ino kusome saba ntu, right sisa abwe, zeziri wa, ee, uvunanzi wa wa government uweburi wa, uvunanzi wa uwe mpi, uweburi wa, ne mpi sigula muenge, na kujaba zine wama zina na kuleta bayimbi, e, kati chitiko kuleta bayimbi, kuzinda abantu, you know, tebogira viva genda kula, jesu kuleta bayimbi yao, abantu nebadja banji, viva kule ilafa ne drama, that's it, ee, so it's our honor, our responsibility, to go down on the ground, to strategize how to go down on the ground, yes, through the media, the media is available, yeah, because at least on, on the space, we are doing well. People are aware. People on space are aware about our cause. People on Facebook, I don't know if they are aware of our cause. People on TikTok, I don't know if they are aware of our cause. We need an account on TikTok. We need to take theater and drama on TikTok. You know, we need to take fun on TikTok. You know, we need to sensitize the public. So when we move in between now, yes, as we organize the sense, I mean, the marching of Tuguru and others, but we also need a general sensitization. We need strategy. Maybe after the 9th October, we need to sit down and audit ourselves and see the way forward. Uh, I can see people's requesting for the mic. Uh, Dr. James, are you saying something? Uh, what, has, what, what, what has excited me is the good girl. Are you seeing her video? And that's what I've, I've talked about before with cameras. With the, You're now a journalist everywhere. There's something I used to blame my colleagues in the health profession. That, why would you work under a tree and you don't take that picture? Me, I took those pictures. I'm showing you pictures of 2010. I can show you pictures of 90 something. I have them. The only pictures that were destroyed for me, which hurt, which hurt me up to this day, was when I was in Moroto. Because I had documented properly cattle rustling. I used to travel with the people with the cows, people stealing cows from Karamoja. As the unstock unit, they call them the unstock unit. They would just collect the cows they have rustled, and then they transport them, and then they sell them to Kampala. We would travel together. So I knew these guys as thieves, people in uniform as thieves. So I, I just wanted to commend the good girl. She has already given us a picture of Gulu, a playing ground. Look at it and see for yourself. It's horrible. It's dust. So, the issue is, will Gulu change after that visit? Because that is a good record. Now we have that bare ground. What will it look like after, three months after that visit? Because there should be a silver lining in, in this visit also for us. We should not only go to say no to parliament. We should go to show what the people who have been representing people are not showing. They are there. Show the garbage collection in Gulu, where it's dumped. It's time for you also to just explore Gulu properly and expose these guys who have been sitting. Because it's even time to expose the MPs also. The fight can still be taken to them. There are a lot of things that need us to do, that we need to do as Ugandans. I don't know whether the we need are we having a case against KCCA? Are we having a case of negligence? Are we having a, a case of... Because there, has, there must be somebody pursuing this seriously. Mm -hmm. Part of our job now is that also, so we want to not only talk about Chitezi, but again, the mishandling of Chitezi should be a point to rally the fight against corruption. Should be a point to rally against the government. If these people have not resigned, if heads have not rolled, what has happened in Chitezi? That five million doesn't, is, 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 is a cover-up. Are we saying only poor people lived in Chitezi? We don't have people who are responsible enough to say no. Government here to Zika. That's direct murder. It's not a natural disaster, no. It's a man-made. So we need, I don't know whether we shall get our lawyers who stood with us in the protest. To be part of this, you know, there's a lot of practice. law can be practicing in Uganda, severely, 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 and what have you. There's room for practicing good law, other than these lawyers who are fleecing young people, these lawyers who want to see destruction. Why would you get a man like Sami and take him to maximum prison? What has he done apart from saying no to corruption? What law are we using? It's sad. The people who are supposed to be in jail are free, and the people who are in jail. Of innocent people. 
young people. So I'm interested in Kitezi also. I'm, okay, we shall, we shall overload ourselves with so many things, but I think that we must go along with the support our, our fight against corruption. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. James. Yeah, you said we need to, uh, the, we need to, lawyers need to sue the authorities responsible cases here, government connected case. I think we shall follow up on that. Yes, we have some lawyers here, Tobias, Council Douglas, and others. Yeah, those people need to get justice, honestly. That was, uh, that was negligence, honestly. Uh, can we have Mimi and then uh, we shall have Salama? Yes. Thank you so much. Um, and I'm just adding to what uh, Dr. James Mungen is say, uh, talking about, is that we should have, these are all good things, say not to go to sitting much to parliament, and it must resign, stop corruption. They are all, but we should have an objective, but also we should also have look back. And I know we, uh, this, this movement is leaderless, whatever, partyless, whatever. Look back and see what things have gone right and what things have gone wrong, and how can we be more strategic um, than, uh, than before, or whatever activities we have. Uh, that have been put forth. So, like with this, um, like the Chelsea thing, I think the next strategy should we should target the MPs. Who is the MPs in those areas? So, if we cannot walk, if we cannot walk past the security forces to get to Parliament, then let's target these MPs to go and present a bill to get KCC into Parliament for questioning, to get the security people, to get the Minister of Disaster. I don't know if it's a Minister of Disaster, whatever. Into parliament to, to, to get the questions answered. Because one thing I've noticed in Uganda is that things come, we get heated up and we protest and we all talk about it and it's on the internet, it's buzzing, it's trending. But after sometimes something else comes back and that is forgotten. She tells the people died and some people are still buried there. And now that is a story like that is start, starting to get on the back. But we have not gotten KCC, mm -hmm. we've not gotten uh, the ministry of whatever disaster. These people have to get into parliament for question. The, the security forces, oh, these people have to get there and question. Because how can people be bar How can only one truck, uh, one this this these um, excavators be on the site? Yeah, people should have been. How can even people go back to sleep, and you expect people to find arrived people, uh, people who are alive the next day? Yeah? People, they should. Have, so that tells us the kind of, uh, the kind of, and so they allocate on the budget. They allocate money for these ministries to prepare for these disasters. What are they doing? They are you when you looked. There were no, nobody trained to do disaster, you know, trying to, to save people. Nobody is the locals and it's the people who oh, everybody was relying on this extra excavator because people have not been trained. So what does that money do? What is that money doing that they allocate every single ma year budget? Hmm? That money is supposed to train. That money is supposed to get equipment. That money is supposed to, to, to get these, uh, they get these uh, kind of like uh, monk, monk training sessions. So people, when, you know, like in these countries, we have fire, preparing people for fire. There's something just as simple as we have had so many fires in schools. Do these schools have fire preparedness programs in their thing? These are the things this ministry is supposed to do. Disasters. We've had landslides in, 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 in Mbali, in Bugisu. Eh? We've had, is there any preparedness? Is there any preparedness uh, for people if people have a disaster? Don't just give people five million. What is five million, guys? Yeah? When somebody has lost a house, there's some, nobody has even made an assessment. Yeah? So they've given these poor people, as poor people, five million. Is five million going to recover an individual? Is five million going to return a life? These people have lost more than five million of, of what? Of, uh, uh, of their properties. You give them five million. And no, even the, the, the government doesn't even take that effort to see, are, are they even investigating and giving a report anywhere? You know what happens, for example, in these countries that are, are out there, that person who heads that ministry, that person who heads in our country, like KCC, they have to report into Congress. They have to report in Parliament to be questioned. What happened? What went on? Is there, what is the investigation? What is this? These are the things we have to include here. Hmm? How can we push these people to get to do their job? Hmm? Basically, this is what it is, getting these people to do their job investigate what went wrong not just doing a media thing or oh, this this you this, there's a reason why that shit thing happened it doesn't come out of the blue trash just moves no something happened that caused it to move was there an earthquake because if there was an earthquake you say oh it's the earthquake that caused it. something caused it to move if that thing has been there for how many years and it has never moved and then all of a sudden it moves are you doing the investigation these are the things that parliament is supposed to question bring these people who are responsible and question them but now we we we, we see the things and they happen and they go i go to the regional sittings what do we want to accomplish in, in this movement? What do we want to accomplish with these people who are forcing themselves to sit in these regions? That's where our work begins. We go there and see for ourselves. Because the person who has more information is a person who, who is just, you know, we are maybe looking at, oh, they are building a stadium somewhere, they are building all it. But who is going to benefit out of those sittings? Those are important things. 
eh, that we should always think ahead and think about. And when this thing is over, we look back and say, what did we do wrong? Our people are in prison. This, what has been done? What is that? And we force government hmm, to come out uh, about these people who have been imprisoned. You know, so these are the, I think we have to start being strategic, not just this. It's nice having these faces. It's nice having these hashtags. But what is the objective? What do we hope to accomplish? We are not hoping to just accomplish by getting onto on, onto onto Facebook or whatever to show people being captured and sent, and that is the end objective. No, we are also pushing these institutions in our government or in this government to be answerable for what has happened. And I think that is how we have to start looking. So for Chitezi, we have to really go and target the MPs to bring that bill into parliament, to bring these people, these responsible whatever, into parliament. For the sittings, we have to start who is going to be the beneficiary there. Who are these people? We've got to start investigating, putting money into people to go and investigate. You know, look at the general area in that area. Hmm? And so because, you know, sometimes when we see these people coming in our areas and they build a stadium, then we start praying, oh, oh yes, build a stadium. But how is that stadium going to benefit you as an individual? Hmm? Tell me. Those are the things we don't think. We just say, oh, he has built a, a stadium. Oh, he has built a road here. Hmm? He has built a road there. Oh, he has built a, a, a hospital there. Hmm? But how is that hospital going to benefit Ugandans? Hmm? You, you're just building that hospital so that you can be voted back into that chair in parliament, that is all you're looking at. What is the cost to that? Those are very important things, Ugandans, we should, and you young people, I'm older, you young people should start thinking, where is your future? Eh? If they give you five million today, that five million is not even going to last up to the end of the month. You're giving somebody a vote of five years, and I'm not bringing, bringing politics here, but I'm wanting you to see the logic behind it, and to be critically thinking citizens of Uganda. You're giving that person five years of being in parliament or whatever. Those people are getting billions. They've just given you a t-shirt and you know the t-shirt and just uh, for few transport money you're giving that person five billion for the five years and all these benefits they are going to get but you they are giving why don't you ask them to to give you a four-year scholarship eh? four-year scholarship to finish off your education if you want them to be voted this is how we have to start thinking eh? if you want me to vote you build me a house if you want me to vote you make sure you build a hospital and before i give you your vote that before we go into these elections you should have an hospital there Eh? Our schools, you be, you come from areas where you see schools are they and they are under the tree. Eh? Some of you have moved from different regions to come to Kampala and you see this long video. But to go back in your village, eh? how are those people? How are those people going to just think, think of that little child eh? who does not even have a how are those go, kids gonna grow up? Eh? We do not think, we just think of ourselves. Me, me, oh, as long as I've got an job. What about the millions of people you've left behind in your regions eh? that do not have jobs? What about those people? Ugandans, let us start thinking in that high way of thinking. Somebody who's coming to say, I'll pay you this if you can do this for me. Ask yourself, what are you benefiting? Get something also beneficial. So you know what, if you want me to do this for you, you gotta get me, you know, let me, their kids are going outside on scholarships and they, yeah, they can afford, let them also get you a scholarship to do their work. But you get minute 4,000, 10 million, which cannot even last at the end of the month. So that is where we have to start thinking. We have to also start investigating. Let us not just rely on Facebook because somebody took a picture. Let us invest in people who can go and do the investigative work and we come back and we have that evidence to present to them and say, this is what is going on. Stop lying. Do something about it. So thank you so much. Uh, thank you, Mimi, for your submission. Uh, you said we need to bring members of parliament on board. Uh, we need to present... Um, Honorable Mwada presented a paper in parliament. I think he was warned to talk about those issues. Yeah, you said that uh, we need to bring the Minister of, uh, Minister of Disaster Preparedness. Yes, where are they, by the way? Yeah, honestly, no one talked about that. Where are they? Yeah, in Sami, Dr. James and you and Sarabi, you said really, Uganda, we shouldn't settle for less. Uh, we need to, we need, we need to know what we want. I think we're oversettling for less. Uh, who does it? Let's have uh, who? Salama. She dropped. Uh, guys, ask for the mic. Uh, ask for the mic and say something. Yeah, ask for the mic. Salama, are you there? You can ask for the mic again and, and give your submission. Yes. Uh, you say not to bully Sydney. Yeah, MPs are going there to spend five million. Yet those people, their kids are here in Kampala begging on the streets. Uh, supposing that money is channeled there to revive those people. You know? So that's our argument, basically. Yeah, and then also we are saying, how are we going on the ground when it's to mobilize the masses countrywide? Uh, because there's a lot of misinformation people are not aware. Uh, yes, uh, Salama took up the mic. Yes. Salama, can you hear me? Uh, I think she's still facing a network problem. We can ask again. Uh, maybe you're coming as a listener. Uh, 
Let's check up what the coming is. Let me see. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Mm. Uh, over is it to Mr. James? Why well, you get it? They can't talk good girl, a video car, kaunda grounds, but then again, the color. So, what about the submission? I wanted to add one. Do you know the Nengamba, he can see next hour, then I want to play the video on what can the same hour, but you have to change our wait. I'm a footer, if I can't go for the song of a tambour, who gained the retail way, I'm it while I video video storage. Never mind, I wrote a comment, Nengamba, I catch one in Oxon's Rapid Sunday, which fun enough. Video near a tan was again a Kulaga was again a Kurachi, and Mitoma Jabata Murabi and Kuba Jojo, Jaya Kaja, but Mitoma for the two leader tan no storage. I just want to get it. Okay, yes, we don't want them to go there. They don't but they repost. Chris Obo Agambambo no five billion days of which like Nye <laughs> Power Talica, Chani Village to Colabrunch. And to know video on Gavali Stack, a bus, a beaver food deco, a Kumakuba flood in the local and in Ravagan or Tino Nerubuam, Gatavana Sara, Emanins and Jagan Navy on any such. Borum Bano Ruming and Banavan Fali from that church, you are one of Buno, and you can see a machine for you know. Can't you don't come out for now? That's not Shadiko. I'm sure they are not going to be able to get a good job. I'm sure they are not going to be able to get a good job. I'm sure they are not going to be able to get a good job. I'm sure they are not going to be able to get a good job. I'm sure they are not going to be able to get a good job. I'm sure they are not going to be able to get a good James, James. Yeah. yeah. But that was actually accountability for GTS, who is responsible for suing and what and what. Call it to Gambio hosting a new mommy, more than Kunyanji. Kakatins and those meals me, for your space, what we're going to hosting yet another two are not good girl was giving a report yesterday. But now I'm hosting up to Jacoba Kavala to eat a baby, to work with tools that love to swallow a quach. To become to get to sewing a moonang. At least, or younger to not sewing a radium for a cascade boat, even to believe a very much of Rambi watch. Much about him, Bako, like Yoga Mambo, no Katiapima, is it two hundred meters from Casasso or Yika, Okuera and Gabas and Gula Bantu Avaliao, New Bezio, but she let it off an anti Avantu Avaliva Rumba Casasso. Badding Avagaman, Casasso, you are living with Wonga Germany, I get to Kajula Yetta, Gokuanga, Koreva, Pota, Bunyavant, and the Hila, Nigeria, and Musa, and Gulia, I have never been with you. Ganova Gamba 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 so the damage to the major world is a question of Cassasso Yavaki, it's beyond the Cassasso by Opiki Avan to talk, Chirinia and Topon Cassasso Yavaka. To Chilemelco to the two city car package, what we found out, like the valley for a cascade, what Yarika Firam, the Vagam Agundi, Catusile, Kiza to Silaki, to Nakotejo, eh? Unga, what you call to Nakotejo naked is at Kusile. Bangam, everything yet, every Korean union, we come to one Sivayo Catini, never mutang, one got everything in there. Naked, I keep a friend of a Sivayo to a way like Wangam Nang. Tis if that then I'm so go away, but we were together. Hmm. Kali, 
Chanzi ni mwale tukwato uvien kuwa nila ganti ya gade gina tu nyanyi njine vera antuno. Eh? Echivu nduwe chivera wa avantu vata, vata siwe juu wawwe ye nana agendi la mwaga amazi. Echivu nga siwe gede kuzino ni pipes za national water. Hmm? Echivu pipes za national water tusasula sana ya tebuli mwezi vazi itachi. Vani hili nyali vazi wa. Zali inga satu lukago waka tizawele mkumi niya. Oba mazi waka kwa sasa uwe waka uliwa toli uo. Oba mbali miaka kumi ngatoli waka wadi ya kule tabiru nga bakuma nyobo kusantenga wa taimu zinze mwe banga liyo mazenga tosasula. Service fee. Na yeti wala wala kuwa na linda bie nchino paipo za walitaka di wagi nda zichu usawa niti wazichu usawa wanyo mwala miyake itano. Paipe mara kuwa wika ni wali wakabale ete mpia. Of which paipo ze wako sasa nafu. Oba chitegela kati sinda zima ni hau shua hau sefa hawi. Paipe nzo ezama zi. Ezama za maru njige tukwese waka kufumba vichi zi itao. Zi singa nyane paipo. Eza zino toi ze tufashi inga katonda ya tusasi ya wama tegela che ngamba. Hmm. Mimi ogenda kuda kwa kama liza. Zi singa nye katisi mwani kilisi mfumitia. Wali woka te wakawa luwalu na paipo za alizivikide nga mazi tega jani. Wajia batusimi ni watuteleleze. Nenga paipo za ata laga. Nenga abulijoze tukose. Sao mwani kubanga za ata laga. Nenga jukile wanumazi wege jate musuwa laga nchi paipo ndala vuhu. Oba chi wanti ya mazi tega lise for use. Musigila mkose sa. Ita ya bazi jia nenga mba vana. Ita payo ketukose sa ulijo. Nga za ata laga da obwela kuna uwebi mwa utuma utono. Zinene za plastik Alaga national water wawe rukji ya funa wate tujia bagi ndamu ndaka tuwa tugeze nyo. Tusuwa kitu baile kuchitaze, tumaligize guru, tumaligize gajia. Kupanga, yuwanga liuna vunguli, chetu nafata kwa tujia kubendulu. Wali siwa jima maluwa liyo chiludu ni kawempe. Uwa ba uchari kangezengu ubade wabaka wempe. Uwa ba uchari yedinga wajita tikote ya naumuli langa unia. Uwa ba dosu magide na umanya entu se kulifaru. No sasi la mantu wa wazali ya mwede tuwali. Mwabu chafu, wote handikida kufida daleri wala mwantu wa uruwala tunatu kana kuduwali. Nyinga woyino okuyingi ya bakole ko. Kati waba nga wali wachu mwaka wachu uloza toya kisabantu wa wazali ya mwede tuwali. Mzali yonana vila wadana linga mbiyoke lake yonga ndivu omu na echi unji katu ina platform. Mbila wana inga mba vili chuka hitia. Ani hali tunia mba. Wewa linyo salama. Kati mbele ya wedi, balo ya baliwa. Kuzi mbele ya chikecho wede lao, uloe ino kutuwala ministries of government. Lawyers wa ino kupala government mu koti. Nechilaba. Uleso nga chokubade wa kukosewa. You know we are affected all the time. Where are the laws in these matters? So, Mimi, next. Bambi, mbundi, mchala salama cha ayo gede. That really caught my attention. Banda nge mumani, these platforms can write a statement. Evi nitu ngevi yomubi laba ngevi tonu. Mwacho usasu vila bilo yo. Chokan ura wanti, nti buchango vera uzimba nyumba teba janga wade kukukebeda pipe yezu. Obani tulabe miyale mizili kire. Obani tulaba trash yomundi alimu chivuka samwe. Kesi seko lachi. Zeta, I'm not so old, but mumiaka jafenze nganda wa kesi sivake ila kumacha ni baku nganye visa silu ni wajia mubitu. Bitundu bimeka mwebaje ewa mwebaje. Bayo sawo, mutani kukutuale bintu. Bayo sawo, banga chiku kujoko collecting a kasasiru. You know, these are the things we have to, to make accountable these institutions. Kumbanga we tutabi wandike kukana hika tingawe tuina platforms zizi nenene. Banda nge tutani kukusaka those things. Everybody I need is kumurijoni ye. Nga ministry, this suppose doktikola, techikola. We write a big statement. We wanga write to wandike about cases. Let us write write about cases. Ebi ebi wandike ebi onabiyo bijia kutu yamba. Bijia kutu yamba as another strategy in 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 addition to to gondi. And I liked Mchala Salama, thank you for bringing up that. Or bringing it up, you know, most of the letter being your, you don't have to show your name and show it up. Show gamba mimi inti, wadu ya gala uruna kutubizi, tuko gerenga kuke sisi yu, weche gire. Yes, and tuko highlight inge, tuko kireme kufuri na mjia sisi tezi. Mugambe ya mtubi yonayo, kese sisi yete kolete, baba wemi sari jyoku nganye bisani. They are supposed to do, they should have a proper procedure of, 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 Kasasiro, oe chintu, echi fone, echi wane, o nosu, la kumpine kasasiro, kumarini, emye zine, emye zi. Let us do just do echi kwe kwe techa, echi oku tambula siti za wali kasasiro, yena, yena. Mwezo wangu na mani tukana mwezi muna amba guna, tutambula mu siti za wali kasasiro, what is KCC doing? But again, this is how we are going to do some of these things, to get employing different strategies, so that, that is, you know, we can be able to do it, we can be able to do it. If banange today yoko awane amaso mela gai wichiza, do these people have fire extinguisher? Do these people have, is there something has done, has ever been done after that? Being to be in jinyo nyo that goes on, that we can really write off and but we write finger individual, kubangu luthi individual, only your people are following. If you can bring these stories, we can bring these stories, we can bring these stories. If you can bring these stories, we can bring each and every wrong thing. That is another way in addition to working to the parliament. Thank you so much. Natuna genda mimi, choga mati tu holding a forum, tu wogele deeply, nga kuke CCA, tu kule investigations, bia batako ze, tu lo jinge ino musa. Yes. As a way, ukubala bisa. Yes. Tu vaa obatu gende ku national water. Aha. Aha. Tu vaa obatu gende ku national water. Aha. Tu vaa obatu gende ku national water. Aha. Tu vaa obatu gende ku national water.
Hmm? Into yamu sasa sudiya government, yamu sasa sudiya government, and they are not doing anything about it. Muzirete, you don't have to show your names, but you can show receipts. You can show zino sente zikungani zikuwa bulina kuba ba ba baleta gundi tu sasa sula kukungani yaka sasa silo uba bitongo uba even ibogo ina business they are certain we mu take yaka sasa silo they are supposed to pick it up by no kupicking up eh? na iwa abe da unti ono ah haru noruna ku number one ah ne mu tani kwa mu zimunamba ne mugugwa ko sasa silo wali that is good evidence good evidence yeah o kugamani they are not doing their job something like that sir. Mm, I think yo, that's a good idea. E, Netuga deeply, Netuga deep, deep in it. Ne evidence, tu ina balo ya unsa wenye tugu tekaio. Olava, I am um, adding on mimi in submission. Olava, that's why we are calling exhibition ya Fort Holmes. We are just calling exhibition ya the event. Okay, we are going to go. We are going to go. We are going to go. For that good submission, for fighting for our country. E, Ndawa jetu genda, jetu genda ndawa watanga avu. Mimi, please, you can pass on the book and write it And put my voice is down. Is my voice still down? How is it there? Yeah, guys, ask for the mic. Ask for the mic, guys. Want to say something? Uh, sorry, sorry, not around the market, I want to submit something here. Uh, for me, what I'm thinking, this government will run by the internet that uh, it's failing uh, to dig out these people in TKB. Where like, people are complaining that they're like, you know, it's a rabbit, uh, and these guys are like, just like, you know, where exactly these people were, where most of their houses. And they live, they live, they live in Kasachi uh, or Mishibuga. I think after killing the Kitesi people, they also want to kill people in the town, in cities, because it's like, because they know we are going in for another week season, because we are almost getting to the week season. They are coming in. You know, we're in Kampala, we're in train, floods are everywhere. After floods, then we have this rubbish. You may be proud in, in, uh, in front of shops. I think they live like, Baku Shenga for Kolela, so that we, we keep dying. I think this government is trying to, put, to, to keep us dying, like after killing the Kitesi, then we have to also die of Kolela, you know? Dr. Wong has mentioned that recently that uh, red ice is also a water infection, kind of. The whole of Kampala has been troubled in red ice, you know? So, we are... But not for you, because we are pushing for Korea now, we are waiting for Korea to come. Then, who will be to blame after Korea coming back? Here we are just looking on. We are waiting for the rain to come. And it will be everywhere. So, the more these people... The more we will show people are doing nothing. These things like, you are like, you know, to be the young Kosa, that when Korea will affect you, when it affects your kids, when it affects your neighbors, and when your neighbors come to you, so how how is it like to have Korea in the main city? She has very touchy, just for an idea, you know. Korea got that talent to go there, which is which, you know. It's like the the moment we were like, yeah, when when COVID was standing, I was in I was in the I was in town. That is why they feel so okay to close their borders. They don't wait waiting for you know this this kind of a uh, uh, like person to come in until they get the disease. So the, these people deliver it. Want us to get it and maybe maybe ask for money from other from other banks. So we need to come up with plans on how to fight this and to, to make these guys get accountable for what for, the, for what they are doing. Thanks. I'll, I'll, I'll submit again. Uh, thank you. Thank you, the host. Uh, thank you, the host. Yes, uh, ladies and gentlemen, ask for the mic. If you want to contribute or give us on the strategy of good sittings, how should we do it? Yes, to be successful. Remember, we have Gaja Gaja, the women and preparation. They have not yet set the date when to come, but uh, there's a drive. Uh, they, need, they need some contribution organizing something, I don't know. Uh, you can get in touch with MP sooner. Uh, we'll pass the message. We also have the 9th nine, nine, uh, October. Uh, the independence 9th October. Yeah, we need to protest. Yeah, because I'm saying we are independent, but the issue is, are we really independent? So we also need to talk about it. It's not very far. We need to strategize. How are we going to make the protest of 9th October colorful? You know, they're going to invite people, president from different countries to come here, you know, they're going to talk good. They're going to talk how they have contributed to the development of this country. But is it in reality on the ground? Yes. 
you guys, if you have something to say, please ask for the mic and give your submission. Uh, you have a, a task to carry on. You need to lay strategies of how to sensitize the masses on becoming aware about their rights, about the rights of the government, the rights of MP, because we see they make so many mistakes when coming to elect MP, when it comes to electing MPs. Yeah, some of them, they're thinking they're just voting someone to go and eat. Uh, some, they let MP Katuru Mama said, ah, we know there's an endangered. Hey, he was honest. Honestly. I see that's what most of them are doing. So we have MPs who are not contributing anything. You know? They cannot, most of them cannot talk, they cannot speak. And we are spending a lot of money on them. And that was suggested by the president. He said, ah, I don't want someone to oppose me. I don't want, someone to, I don't want you to bring someone who will oppose me. And remember, opposition is a government in waiting. The role of opposition is to oppose the policies of the government, you know. But the regime doesn't want opposition. That's why when you're serious as opposition, it will crush you. So we need to lay strategies how to pass the information. That's the challenge we are facing apparently. Yes, we may come up with good ideas, come up with good strategies. But if the masses, the people suffering, are not aware of who are they, who, who they are, what are their rights, what is the government supposed to do for them, why they pay taxes, what is the expectant, then we are really, really, really fighting a failing battle. We, are, we need to carry out an awareness one on one. Call on those radio stations. We need to come up with a strategy of each radio station and in Uganda. Where? And we chip in their programs. Yes. If you guys ask for the mic and say something. Uh, ask for the mic. Uh, the host, you need to add, update me at what time we're supposed to, to stop. Yeah, we need to have a, a time on the program. Yes, we are in a country where program is affecting women. And I don't know how the government has taken, the, which, initiative the, which initi initiative the government has taken to empower women. And you know, there's low education. Women are least educated, you know. Most of them drop out of school in primaries, you know. So if you don't empower a woman, honestly, how are you going to make a country better? These are people who spend almost 80% of the time with the children, nurturing children. If a woman is empowered, she's going to pass that message, that knowledge to a child. And in the long run, you're going to have uh, an informed population. Citizens who are informed. Because if my mother keeps telling me, you know, do this, do this, do that, you know how children are inquisitive. They ask a mother who is informed. You know, 40 years of NRM in power, what have they done, honestly? Yeah, guys, ask for the mic. If you want to say something. Yes. We have seen how women are intimidated. Women are joining politics. They're intimidated, incarcerated. You know, for just supporting a, a support of their choice. What sort of regime are we in? You know? Uh, how is the railway system in Uganda? You know? Because the railway is the cheapest means of transport. And there's traffic in the evening, big time. You know? How have they organized the city? The, the Karelo, which is the Karelo station, which is there, mm, it's old school. It's top of Aimeset. You know? But remember that people who live as far as Jinja. If there was a better railway system, someone wouldn't mind to, go, to, to live in, in Jinja. Come and work in Kampala, jump on a railway station, go, and go back home. I don't know African leaders, I don't know what 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 is their vision. Honestly. Now Kampala is populated. Don't you know? Or to get to Wewere or say Tom Mokono. It's hell. And coming in the morning is hell. So calculate how much fuel you're wasting on the road and how much time. And that's it. Yeah. So guys ask for the mic. If you want to say something. Uh, we are all brothers and sisters in one cause. We are here to cause fundamental change. We are here to fight for the citizens of Uganda to, to ensure all goes well. And we are here to inform the citizens of their rights. If there are no new speakers, we can end the session. Okay, guys, I think we need to end this, the, the space. Thank you all for your contributions. Thank you for ensuring for, 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 for the airtime you've really spent on this space. It means you're really, really, really committed. So let's uh, step aside and wait for, next, for the next space in the evening. Thank you. Have a good, a lovely Sunday. Hey, thank you for coming. Thank you for keeping around. Okay, let's have a rest and maybe we'll come back later. Thank you very much. I'll end it immediately.